hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today it's going to be a very exciting video as for starters you're probably not seeing something different and that's obviously my voice and yeah before you ask this is my real voice and not some ai generated voice like i did with the other videos but anyway i'm not gonna get into deep length on why i didn't do a voice reveal until now but the thing is i plan to do a voice reveal when we hit 100 subscribers and since now we're halfway through i I thought let's just do it now and I also wanted to take this moment to thank you all for all of your support for my last video it reached around 1.8k views which is absolutely crazy and we also got closer to the 100 subscribers milestone in just the span of a week but uh, anyway today we're going to realistify the ninth alien on the list which is gray matter and I can tell you the results are going to look absolutely epic also one more thing this video is going to be vastly different from my other videos as I recorded the audio and the video both at the same time so you're going to see the process on how I made this alien on real time however don't expect any more videos like this as they take quite some time to make I mean it just takes a lot of cutting and all that so it's really time consuming and boring and I'd rather just do voice narrations instead but I'm also not saying that I won't ever do them again like it all depends on the feedback that this video gets so anyway enough talk and let's get straight into the video all right so here we are on uh, photoshop and let's just get started shall we now the first thing that we're gonna have to do is obviously find a reference image of well in this case gray matter okay so i found this reference image which honestly i think looks nice and we'll just start the first step by well masking each individual body shape which well it's a bit boring and all but hey i mean okay so let's just start with the fingers I'm gonna mask this other finger later because I want it to be separate from well, this hand so then it's gonna be easier to add textures on it and then we can just start working on the leg okay this is going to be the the other arm and let's just add a solid color and i think we're pretty much done okay so now we're going to go into the next step and that is adding the textures and for this alien i think he's based on a frog animal that's why um i think i'm gonna try to find some like frog texture or something like that and i think that's going to work okay so this is well the first texture that i found I think this will do for this alien and obviously well we're gonna have to change the color to gray because well I mean that's what his name is gray matter like because it's gray like makes sense and let's just start with his face first dude it's it's actually gonna work yep and we definitely need to warp it according to the shape Okay, so now we can definitely start working on his suit. All right, so as for his suit, uh, I'm going to be using this leather texture. So let me just clip it right here. We definitely need to warp it quite a lot. Okay, make it more roundish. Let me just duplicate it again. And add it here on his leg. And um, now we also have to do that for, well, his other two arms all right so now we're done however the color of it it's well it's not the right color so we're gonna have to make it white actually let me just make the background darker like so and now we can work with it all right so now we are done with adding the textures and uh, the only thing left is well his eyes all right so here i have this beautiful picture of this octopus eye and uh, it looks exactly like the eye that we need for this alien so that's good and i'm just going to mask it real quick obviously the color is well is the wrong color so for that i'm just gonna use a hue and saturation and now we're just gonna do the exact same thing for his other eye okay so for his mouth i'm thinking of using a perhana mouth 
Well, that actually, I think that would look quite creepy. But let me just see. Yeah, actually, I think it might work, surprisingly enough. Like, let me just remove this part. <laughs> yeah, it actually looks really nice, um, surprisingly enough. And I guess we are pretty much done with the whole thing, well, the textures. So now, it's time for the fun part, but also the most boring part, and that is adding the, well, the shadows and highlights. And uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it. So let me add an exposure adjustment layer, and add a mask, and let's just start painting. Okay, we still definitely have to work on the eyes. But um, for now, um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that a bit later. So for now, I'm just gonna continue adding the shadows on the other parts of the body. Well, actually, I have to keep in mind where the light is coming from. So actually, I think in this case, it's gonna come from this side, from the left side. So I'll have to keep that in mind. So this part is going to be well dark. Some shadows here. Okay, and then the other leg, and then we also need some shadows um, under his well chin, since well his chin is casting a shadow, and then some shadows here, just like so. Okay, so I think we are done with the shadows. I mean, we definitely have to come back and do some like fine tuning and tweaking with the shadows, but um, I think it's for now, well, it looks way better than how it was, so yeah. Okay, so now let's just add some highlights, like so. And uh, this port, well, this port should have some highlights here inside of well shadows all right so actually let's just do the stripes now now i'm actually gonna go with well this design since it just looks way better than well the original okay so something like that actually i think just reducing the opacity just makes it look way better so you know let me just try that okay yeah let me just add some highlights here some more highlights here all right so as for well his eye sockets i'm thinking of using this image right here i mean i'm not sure if it's gonna work but you never know without trying so let's just try it man it looks nice however we need, just need to make this quite dark and then we can definitely just use some very soft brush and start removing some parts. Yeah, I think this is an improvement. So now we can just get into the next thing, which is, well, this thing, this stripe thing he has on his head. So to do that, um, well, I'm gonna do it similar to what I did with four arms. So I'm actually going to paint it on his head and that way I think it's just gonna look more realistic. Yep, I think we're gonna go with this one. It actually does look nice, not gonna lie. We definitely need to add the Omnitrix on the back. Well, let's see if we can do anything with this. Okay, so now how do we do this? It's, I mean, I only want this sort of edge right here. Now this definitely needs a lot of shadows. So let's just do that. Just like that. Yep, it actually looks pretty cool. So yeah. All right, so now I think we're pretty much done with the alien. So now I'm going to be spending some more time on adding some small details and uh, fixing some small issues. And after that, I'm going to be adding a background. So that part is going to be a speed art segment because honestly, I have no idea what kind of background to add. I'm thinking of adding some sort of miniature background, but uh, we'll see. So yeah, anyway, without further ado, enjoy this epic speed art.
and I guess that's all of it for today. Now I'm not gonna lie, I really like the final results and I'm really happy how this turned out. Which is a bit funny because at first I didn't really like the background that much. Like I don't know, I just felt like I overcomplicated it a bit. But uh, now I absolutely love it. Now as of the concept, I was inspired by the first Ant-Man movie where Scott gets really small and you have all of these ants around him like talking to him and all of that. So uh, I thought the background with that concept would fit this alien very well since you know, it's very small. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you in the next video.